Hi there. Are you work in accounting or planning to become an accountant? Then this video will help you to know some important accounting functions so you can smoothly work on Excel. Watch the video till the end. So the first function we are going to talk about is trim function. So what trim function does? The trim functions help you to remove the unwanted space between the data. It generally happens when you copy the data from other sources. So let's see how trim function works. If you can see, there are some space between cost of goods sold, interest expenses and all the other data. So how can we remove that? If we do it randomly, it takes a lot of time. But with the help of trim function, we can directly put the formula and get the result in less time. Let's check how we can do this. Select the empty cell, put the formula and select the cell, enter. You can see it will automatically remove the unwanted space and only leave one space between the text. So double click this and you can see it will remove all the unwanted space from the data. The next function we are going to talk about is edate function. What is edate function? The edate function allow you to move a few months into the future or in the past based on your specified date. So let's say if you want to move 14 months from the given date into the future, put the formula in the empty cell, select the start date and write 14 because we want to move 14 months into the future. Enter. You can see double click it so you can find out the for, uh, 14 months from the date. Also, if you want to move prior to this data, just put the formula and change the sign like this. The formula start date and instead of 14, write minus 14. So we will go to the past date. Enter. See? 11 is the month, 1st is the date, 2020 is the year. So double click it, you can find out for the whole date. Easy? This function really helps in calculating maturity dates. So the next function is sum if function. Sum if function is used where we need the sum of all values in the range of a particular criteria. Let's do it with an example. In this table, we have the data for sale in different states and regions for each salesman. Now, if you want to know the total sale in Goa in all regions, since there are different regions and different salesmen, it will be difficult to find out where the line items are very large. So, let's get the result with the help of sum if function. Put the formula here. My range would be the whole column B. This is my criteria would be D5 as I want the result from here. My sum range would be sales because I want to know the total of total sales of the particular state. Close the bracket, enter. See, it will showing you the zero. Why? Because we haven't put anything in this space. So let's say if we put Delhi here. Here you see, it will showing you the result 2,78,000. If you want to cross check it, total if you can see coming to the next function sum if function similar to the sum if function where you get the result only for one criteria the sum if function 
will return the sum value when there is more than one criteria. Suppose if you want to know the total sales uh, for the north region of Goa, we can simply find out by using SUMMIT's formula. Select the empty cell, put the formula here. The sum range is column D. My criteria is Goa as it consists Goa as a state. My criteria would be G6. My second criteria range would be region. The criteria would be H6. Close the bracket. Enter. See it is showing you 0. Why? Because we haven't put anything here. So let's say Goa or North region. Enter. See? It will show you the total sales for North region of Goa. Our last important function is advanced filter. As the name suggests, it is the advanced version of filter which we generally use. But for the larger number of data, if we want to use the filter simultaneously at some other place of the sheet, filter function will not be that useful. Advanced filter has many features. But here we will discuss only about filtering data and using it some other place of the sheet. The shortcut key of using the function is ALT plus A plus Q. So let's start. I have put some data in the table. Now I want to know the salesman who made the sales more than 1 lakh rupees. So let's see how can we do that. So the first step is Specify the criteria. To do so, copy the header and paste it into the other place of the sheet. Like this, I have already done. The next step is specify the criteria for which you want to filter the data. Since we want to know the sales more than or equal to 1 lakh, enter more than equal to 1 lakh below the sale cell. After that, select the cell where you enter the criteria and press the shortcut key for advanced function. Alt A Q. As you can see the advanced filter dialog box here. For the action, select the copy to another location as we want to know the result into the other location. After that, in the list range, you have to uh, select the whole table, make sure it refers to the data set from which you want to find unique records. Also, make sure headers in the data set are included. So let's select. Select the whole table including the header. Enter. For criteria range, Specify the criteria we constructed in the steps above. In this example, it would be J2 Enter. Copy to which location you want to copy your result. So select the Then and press enter. Click on the unique records only and press OK. You can see the results here. We want to know the sales more than 1 lakh rupees. So here you can see the criteria, name, state, region and the sales that the salesperson has done. I hope this video helps you. Thanks for watching.